It's time for a heart to heart. Let's talk about the games that will ruin any relationship. We spend a lot of time on this channel talking about how good games are. They are brilliant for relieving stress, they can keep you fit, and they're great for your brain as you learn all new puzzle solving techniques. But then there's the darker side of games. And I'm not talking about going into rooms where you need to find batteries for night vision. I'm talking about playing multiplayer games with the love of your life. Cooking together, saving the world together. Sometimes that might not be a very good idea. discriminate. You could be lovers, friends, or even family members. All of these games are here to let you know your true self and reveal the nature of all of those important to you. It's time to take a look at the menu of games that can ruin any relationship. Food. What a wonderful thing it is. Whether you're bonding over the love of the same cuisine on a first date or enjoying the delights of cooking for your significant other, food and romance are intrinsically linked. Which is why the first group of games on this list are a smorgasbord of delicious treats, just waiting to annihilate any sense of goodwill or romance. If your real life culinary exploits constantly feel like an episode of Nailed It, it turns out that the digital equivalent with a partner can feel, well, even worse. Can I, can I just order now? Please? Anyone? Food? Just, can I, please, can I order? <sighs> if you're an old hand on the Logitech G YouTube channel, you might remember that Matt and I, well, we aren't very good at Overcook too. Or one, for that matter. We almost cried over spilled milkshake at least twice during just one playthrough, and we've never really managed to earn more than two stars. Even then, it was probably because Ghost Town Games felt sorry for us. On the surface, it should be perfect. Two people working towards crafting the ultimate soups, burgers and steak dishes. Ingredients are all labelled. There are multiple chopping boards. What could possibly go wrong in this land of glorious organisation? Well, it turns out that that's you. You can and will go wrong. You'll chop when you should boil, wash when you should serve, and overreact accordingly when your partner accidentally puts a perfectly good plate of food in the bin by accident. Hmm. If the previous Cook Serve Delicious games have felt a little, well, safe as you make your way through various cuisines in a skyscraper, the third in this series might just be the one for you. This threequel is all about driving across apocalyptic America, serving burritos, croque monsieur, and uh, puff puffs to those lucky enough to still have some form of currency. But you don't need to do it alone. Your partner can be your sous chef and you can tackle the apocalypse together, one bowl of cereal at a time. It's not quite the same as Overcooked, in that the world isn't entirely against you and no one is going to move the deep fat fryer when you aren't looking, but things can get manic as truck diners demand personalised dishes and far more crab legs than you would imagine a war-torn state would require. Oh. And I know you're thinking it, but the less we say about playing cooking simulator with another human being, the better. Fine, show the clip. I won't watch. You can rotate it. Just rotate it. Bring tomatoes to the front. <laughs> you can rotate it. Just rotate it. Bring tomatoes to the front. Without 
not a handy collective noun like a murder of crows or parliament of owls, this next collection of relationship ruiners can all be helpfully squashed together as those with a common goal. You know the ones, the games where you have to fix up a house or beat enormous vegetable bosses or save all the love bunnies that have been scattered across the galaxy like rose petals being blown by a slightly over-enthusiastic desk fan. It's probably for the best if I concentrate on those bunnies first, isn't it? You wouldn't want to think that all the romance in the air has affected my brain in some way. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time really doesn't sound like it should be a game about a group of people steering a spaceship across a galaxy of violent aliens. But it is, and it turns out that if you don't communicate successfully with your crew at all times, then those floppy-eared Bugs Bunny likes are going to stay in existential hell forever. I mean, no pressure. So you can see where the arguments happen, can't you? It might look cute, but there's no coming back from the fact that you didn't move the shield fast enough and that we are not going to speak for the rest of the night. But hey, maybe you don't want all the space drama. You just want to make over a house with new carpets and floors without all the woes of wallpaper paste and endless amounts of sawdust all over your belongings. In which case, you want the jaunty delights of Tools Up, a chirpy cartoon DIY game that Matt and I would probably call a do him up him up how could this ruin relationships, you scream? Look at how satisfying it is to put down carpet squares. How pleasing it is to watch a room change colour before your eyes. What are you... why are you... why are you in the river? Suddenly, it's easy to see why just watching TV shows about things like this are preferable. At least no one on your favourite streaming services are bickering over which room to do first and hoping that the reticence to answer the door to the paint delivery man isn't a red flag for a future issue in real life. Matt, are you, are you going to get that? Matt? And finally, of course there are so many games with a shared goal, but few are as downright elatory when you win as Studio MDHR's Cuphead. Sure, it's mostly just chopping down one nefarious Disney-style villain after another, but Hollywood blockbuster dramatic moments are everywhere. The platforming sections are sheer razor wire tension as you balance that desire to just run with actually trying to take everyone down. And getting a twisted foe's health bar down to zero when you're both almost dead is Rocky Steps levels of victory. But then... You know where I'm going with this. When two sets of thumbs aren't working in perfect harmony, it's not exactly what Hallmark movies are made of. But hey, maybe this is life. Maybe when it comes down to it, a shared goal in a relationship isn't meant to be about sweetness or light and telepathic knowledge. Maybe even after some harsh words, reaching that finish line nonetheless is the real victory. Huh. Isn't that something? Ah, party games. The ones where everyone gets together and looks like a trailer for the game. Eyes a wonder, laughing happily, gathered around a somehow still CRT television, living the millennial dream. Or not. I'm only able to cover a few here, but going by the Let's Plays here at Logitech G and a lot of direct experience, party games are more effective than truth serum at revealing the true nature of a human being. And sadly, this includes your significant other. It's probably best to start with an old classic that we recently revisited on the channel. Move or Die joins Doom and Untitled Goose Game in wearing its titular heart on its sleeve. 
This is a multiplayer party game where staying still is out and annihilating your friends with a chainsaw to the back is absolutely in. Even better, or worse for your relationship, is that instead of each bout being exactly the same, there are seas of mods, mutators and level styles all there to test your metal. Maybe you'll see a new side to your partner as they're suddenly stealing treasure from your chest instead of the loot readily available on the floor. Or perhaps they'll gloat that little too hard when they hit you with an explosive paper plane. Ouch, that hurt. But hey, maybe it's a good test for an early date. Could you still love someone after they've stolen your crown multiple times? Or if they truly loved you, wouldn't they hand you the headwear without question? Helpfully, this is something that only you can answer. Few party brawlers are as beautifully pure as Stick Fight the game. Requiring equally precise platforming, brawling, shooting and uh, spearing skills, Stick Fight doesn't mess around with 3D graphics, fleshed out characters or emotes. Like the simple delights of Needhog, which sadly doesn't have space for its own wormy entry here, Stick Fight the game embraces its simplicity with a pure hit of dog-eat-dog -dog violence and stern KO lines. You could even opt to say them as you send your other half into the abyss with yet another flourish of your badly drawn fists. What do you mean team up against the people who aren't romantically involved? Exactly where is the fun in that? Sit down. And if all of that violence is too much, don't worry. You don't need fists and the ability to dissolve your partner's pixelated self to cause an imbalance in the perfectly stacked Jenga block that is your relationship. While it would be easy to add another excellent brawler like Havocado or Pummel Party to this list, Muddle Dash is about being an adorable octopus on the way to a party. Unfortunately though, only one of these eight-legged squidlings has remembered to purchase a present. Thus, this side-scroller is a race to keep a hold of the prized gift and manage to make it to the party first. It turns out that being an octopus means that there are plenty of spare legs for kicking your foes away from your precious cargo. Oh, look how cute I look in this hat. You wouldn't steal from me, would you? It's probably best not to answer that. So, that's the games that will happily ruin any relationship. Let us know your favourite games to fall out and make up over in the comments below. Drop us a like if you want to send us some hearts and subscribe to Logitech G for more videos and features just like this one. For now though, I'm busy. Oh, and happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Did that work? I mean, I felt like I just got hit by a chunk of rose petals. <laughs>